Hi folks, Lee here, welcome to the channel. This lesson is all about trying to get as much mileage as possible out of the patterns that you already know. And we're gonna look at specifically the G major scale, um, just in, in two octaves, simple three note per string patterns. You can apply these patterns to any three note per strings. And we're actually gonna look at uh, very briefly how, to, how you could apply it to the chromatic scale as well as part of a practice regime to develop finger independence with your picking. So the kind of thing I'm talking about is this. So picking patterns like that are really, really good to improve your skills and picking, of course. But in addition to that, musically, you're getting a lot more mileage out of the patterns that you already know. Okay, so the scale we're going to use today is the G major scale. It's this scale if you don't already know it. And the notes are E3, E5, E7, um, A3, A5, A7, D4, D5, D7, G4, G5, G7, B5, B7, B8, and then back down. And I'm using this three note per string pattern there because all the patterns we're going to be looking at today are three note per string. So let's take a look at another shape that we could try. Okay, let's do one that's a little bit more taxing now, something a bit different too, so check this out. So as you can see, I'm just playing the straight major scale pattern. Nothing crazy going on there, but what I'm doing is I'm getting as much mileage out of it as possible. These kinds of patterns are really good for kind of developing finger independence on your picking as well. Um, so the kind of thing I'm talking about is maybe taking a chromatic scale that we already know. You know, you can learn that pattern, can't you? But that doesn't mean, mean to say that you've got you know, complete finger independence. So why don't we take part of that scale and do something like this? So there we are, gang. I hope that's been of use to you. Um, I really want to make sure that I'm doing stuff that you find interesting, to be honest with you. So let me know if this is the kind of thing that you'd like me to do more of uh, and the kind of format as well. So as always, guys, thanks ever so much for watching and hopefully I'll catch up with you lot again soon on a video. Till then, take care.